Well, welcome back into Mid Norfolk and the new little areas of vegetable garden that we've been showing you over the summer months. We've been so excited about this and the progress that we've made here and the crops that we've taken off it in such a short window period. I had a bit of a disaster with my runner beans. That'll teach me for being too tight and not buying new canes and using some rotten old ones. I had to support them with a bit of rope because they were leaning one way. Didn't think to support them the other way and the wind direction changed over the weekend and they've gone over. They're not completely lost at the moment, we'll still be able to pick some. And the cage of lattices underneath them are going to need a little bit of attention. They've almost completely run to seed these now. We've had a real good picking of cut and come again and quite hearty oak leaf lettuces off these. They've done very well but I have got some new lettuce seedlings coming on in this netted compartment that we built and I'm going to try and take the opportunity of planting some of these out where I just opened the netting out. This lettuce is a variety called Winter Density. You can see we've got a row of spinach in here, some spicy Mizuma mix, spicy leaf that's grown quite well. And we did plant some of these out the other day. You can see just with the protection they've had under this netting, they've grown really, really well. And I could just use this as a cut and come again salad mix. But I'm going to try and find some space in this cage and just have a look to see if we can get some more of these planted out to overwinter them over here and try and have lettuce, if not for the whole season, then for the good first part of it at least. Now back in the end of August, beginning of September, I planted out this garlic which had been bought to me as a gift from France. Beautiful big dark purple elephant garlic and I know it wasn't the right time of year to do it but it was going a little soft and I thought if I don't plant it now it's going to lose its vigour and it's taken absolutely ages to come through. I'd normally be planting garlic in around October to harvest the following spring and I think I'm going to get away with this and it's going to grow away quite nicely. Again, not something that I would normally worry about producing uh, under cover. This should be unattractive to the birds and the deer and should overwinter and grow away nicely here. But with the protection it's getting on the side from the purple sprouting broccoli, which is really rampantly growing away now, I think that's all the protection it's going to need in between here and this mesh little cloche that we built for the lettuces and the spinach. Spinach is doing really well as well. I'm going to start cutting some of that rather than letting it grow into big plants and have it more as a salad leaf than a spinach leaf. Again, just look at those lettuces that we sowed in there. This is, again, that winter density that was directly sown, taken a lot longer to get established than the plants that we've pricked out, planted along the side of it. Same variety, that. You wouldn't know it looking at it, would you? One's very soft and growing away quickly. The other still very much more dense, probably because it's so compact in there. This little new border where we've just top dressed with mushroom compost. We've got the red onion sets in here, not yet showing through the surface, but they've only been in about a week, so not worried about those. Just going to keep an eye on this drying out. We're forecast for some more rain tomorrow, but it's not been overly wet here, and this compost does dry out quite quickly. The winter new potatoes that we put in, this is a new trial for us. Flowering already, which is a good sign, but I don't think there's going to be much to harvest on those just yet. And I'm seriously considering covering them up with a little bit of mesh over the next couple of weeks to try and extend the life of the green tops. If these get frosted and die back, it's really not going to put much more growth into the new potatoes. Whereas if a bit of extra protection, I might get an extra couple of pounds of potato as a result. So we'll see how we manage with that. Still got a good pile of the mushroom compost left, which we're still moving all around the garden. And I'm tempted at this time of year to pull back this plastic, which we've been using just to kill the grass of the old paddock that was here. 
and to actually put the mushroom compost down and then recover it with the black plastic if we're not planting stuff out at this time of year that should give it a good chance to really rot down nicely and give us a lovely loam to which next spring should act as a really healthy seed bed and mean I can plant small seeds directly into this ground rather than having to germinate them in pots and plant them out as mature plants. So I'm going to see if I can pick some of those beans. A lot of them are a bit too old and woody I think now. Might try and let them produce some seeds so if they don't get frosted then quite often you'll be able to collect some runner bean seed, save that over winter and that'll be perfectly healthy to plant and grow my next set of runner beans off next season. So we'll see just how we get on with that and I'll see how I get on with shifting a couple of barrow loads of that mushroom compost onto these borders and moving these pots out of the way.